Well, that's a very pretty block like that. It is, isn't it? Got a ten on. And it's tough going because these things are tight. I'll just show you these little rascals. These are the fish brick. Um, I don't know. I don't know what the name is for them, but they uh, they replace the line cap on the pro on the Blake's profiles. And uh, we're going to be doing that height overhand, so we need to come up about a foot, so we can look over. Go to Friday morning, five to nine, on the 9th of June, and it's another glorious day. Solid sunshine for a long time now. So, new job. Well, it's a new job, but we're between jobs. We've, we've just left the block extension to come and do this, and then we're going back to that one because we're going for for that one. So, here we go. This is our entrance. There's our trestles when we're ready. Our wheelbarrow, because that's it irrelevant down here as you can see it gets a bit narrow here this is our job existing conservatory this is getting taken up another four courses and then luckily because we work for great lads called Vic and Sean who Vic, you've seen Vic in a lot of very old video um, they brought everything around for us so we've so there's no messing around getting stuff past all this and this is the job. <clears throat> Basically, it's it's just bringing everything up. Going a bit higher with that. Vix to this out here. And um, cut it back there, so it's going to be a two brick pillar. All the way up. Same this side. Take this side. All the way up. Basically to mirror image it, so it's two high walls. Big, um, I think they're probably bifolds. And again, two brick pillar. So um, Alex just putting the starter packs up on there. I need to cut back this return because that's going to be a cavity running through now. That's the, the brickwork used to stop there. So we're going to return that now and get rid of this so we can put the cavity in. <coughs> Straightforward profile straight on. Got a good brick match considering um, these Cheshire pre-wars were discontinued a while ago. Let's look at them. And then there's our bricks. So, there's our sand, cement's behind there. For some reason they sent bloody seven Newton concrete blocks, which we didn't ask for. And then high strength cement. Don't know why they sent that. Maybe that's gonna be all right, I'm gonna have to mix that a bit weaker. Um, there's the rest of the cement. Hopefully you can hear me over Alex drilling, because I've got the mic on. Um, I think that's our pad stones, and then as you can see, a couple of steels here. With all the holes drilled in. And... Bolts. I don't, these, must, these must be shims, I don't know. But anyway, they are going in there. So we're going to get the shell up. And then we're going to get the steels in. So all this is coming out. And then eventually there's going to be a steel going on this wall across onto this steel. And then another steel coming off this steel across there to get rid of this corner and open this out. And this obviously is going to be a structural engineer job because you've got the stairs there. So those stairs are going to go up onto a trimmer, so this is all going to need looking at. So, it's, like I say, it's, it's nine o'clock, we've had a good chat with Vic, get our bearings, see what's what. <coughs> Ow! Ow. Yeah. Um, hang on a minute. Bear with me a second. Safety first. Yeah, that's it. So, sun will be going off in a bit, which is good. And we're going to get cracking. So, um, as always, we'll stick on the time lapse for a little bit while we get organised, and then we'll get back to you later on.
Right, um, I'll probably just put that on the time lapse. We've got the laser level set up there. And where that line strikes onto the wall, there. It's still on the patio door there, just make it out there on the patio door. There. That is 88 mil above that finished height. So that's the height we're working to. So when you when you swing the laser over to here, there's our laser line. So we come 88 mil below that. Sorry, it's got that way. 88 mil. That is level with that so that's our data to work off so what we do now is we measure from that down to that Alex can you just count how many courses are from the dwarf wall to the top of the wall please see, again, sorry. see the dwarf wall start on the top of that top that one now count how many above it That back down to the dwarf wall is 15.93. So, can you hold that on? Chilly. Yeah. Hmm. It's windy, isn't it? Alex's t shirt's back on because it's cold. Soon we'll want me to start moving them bricks over here. Especially around that back where it's pretty, uh, no, no sun. We do put a couple of blocks down on the floor, you know, slow the bricks onto so they're not on the floor. Hey, Alan, he's told camera. Needs a camera assistant. So, fifteen ninety three. Let me just double check that. It's a long time ago. Hey, it's a long time ago. I've already gone the wrong way. I went up eighty eight instead of down eighty eight. Huh? So, fifteen ninety three. So that we fixed there, we've got that and we've got that. So 1593 divided by 19 courses. Mm -hmm. 19 equals, that's our gauge, 83.8 .8 per course. Which is uh, for these bricks type beds because they're solid. I always set these at 85 when I'm just building something, but we've got to follow what's here. So, eight, so almost 84 per course. So then, now we go down there and mark our gauge back down to there, and then um, I'll just mark, I'll just swing the laser lever around, and put a mark on our profile, and that's it. Then I think yeah, profile's high enough. So what we do is we're leveling up to that before we put the steels in, because then we can put the steels on the wall, and then steels in, an extra four courses, and then some brickwork around the, on the front. So I don't think we've got any tape in there, have we? Take the best for marking the profile. Right, well, can you just spin that laser lever around, please? Which is there. So, pencil marks don't show up very well on these old profiles, so, a bit of tape. A bit of masking tape, that's all we need. As long as it sticks. So that's our level line round now. That is 15.92. It's a mill out. That's good news. And then um, I'll just check that in now. Preparation is key. Swivel the base round. That's it, thank 
thinking. Yeah? Jesus, so everything's level. Happy days. We've got 88 there, 88 there. That's measured, and that's measured and marked, so that's our gauge. So it's, and the gauge is 83.8 per course. Which we'll mark up now.
Now we're working. True, true. Move your microphone. Hello. That's a close one, nearly had no sound then. Hopefully you're picking me up and not the mixer. Which isn't that loud anymore because we've since we fixed it. But yeah, this we're up to. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two, four, six, eight. We've got ten on. And it's tough going because these things are tight. Extra dry. Mortar's drying out quick. Let me just show you how dry these brick are. Dunk it in. Dry. So that's what it does to your mortar, Damn. basically. So you've got to be quick. So it's tight beds, so you're spreading the tight bed. And as you spread the tight bed, the brick sucks the mortar out of it. So you've got to get them down as quick as you can. Otherwise, leave it too long and you're banging them down. So that's, 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 um, that's what we're up to now. Two brick with pillar each side, return. And then we've got all the block work to do. Uh, Scott Mills is on, so it's after two. About half two, Al? Yeah. So we're going to crack on, get these up as high as we can reach and then drop on the block work hopefully. Basically to get us in the position to get trestles up for tomorrow. Tomorrow being a Saturday. I'll just show you these little rascals. These are the Fitch Brick. Fitch brick. Um, I, don't know, I don't know what the name is for them, but they, uh, they replaced the line cap on the, pro on the Blake's profiles. And um, you can see there, the brick actually fits into the slot. So you can't push your brick past the line, which you can do with the line clips. So it's it's like it's foolproof if you like. So it's good for us. <laughs> so, speaking of fools, I tried using them once and I couldn't get the line worked out properly, so I just abandoned them. And then I got a message to, off Richard to say, "What do I think of them?" So, if, last night, in fact. So I said, "Right, next time I'm on the profiles, I give them a try." So I've got them set up with a little help from a Charlie Conson video, and um, they work great. Made up with them. So I recommend you get yourself a set of these. So, mix is ready. Get these two on here and get the line up, crack on. Got a few cuts to do. We'll probably use a cutter for that. We'll see. We'll see how Alex is going to try and do some with the armor and bolster. So, we keep shifting the board around, trying to keep them in the shade. See that one over there. So, that's enough waffle. Let's get some more brick work done.
Well, that's a very pretty block like that. Pretty, isn't it? The, uh, they're concrete blocks, but they're much lighter than the standard ones, so they're much nicer to work with, and uh, they make a nice finish as well. Okay. It's like a, it's like a wallpaper. I think they're called rain finish lights, I think, something like that. Thin they're, lights. they're a lightweight 7 inch and they really are lightweight. Oh yeah, they're much, much, much better than those ones you have to bloody... It's so, so square and uniform, properly, all, all the same size. Well, have a look for yourself, look at that. So, that is us done for today. It's about <coughs> just on five, so... I keep saying so again. But... Oh, now I've lost my trailer port. So, but, but so... But yeah, that'll be us for today. Tomorrow we'll get trestles up and then get all this up to steel height. Oh, no, there's no steel on this. is the steel's going here, sorry. It's going to be steel height, though. It's going to be the same height as when yeah. the steel's going. And get yeah, what well, we can done. I've completely lost my brain for this outro, so I'll, I'll, just, I'll see you tomorrow. Good. Saturday morning. Saturday the 10th of June. Yeah, why don't you get your phone out and you check your watch? <laughs> There's yesterday's little bit of brickwork. We started here. And these these are discontinued, but I think you'd agree they're quite a good match then. They're an excellent match to be honest. And they, uh, they weren't the worst to set either. They were tough because they're dry. They're, they're like extra super dry then. So you have to joint every course and don't forget your perps, which we did. But we'll get that when we point the profiles. Yeah, so yeah, we've got up to we got um what to put on it 12. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, yeah, we've got 12 on. We're gonna get another 11 on today. There's the block work. Them blocks are lovely. I think they're the Rainford Thin Shilite ones. The 7 Newton, but they're quite they're quite light. But look at that. Look how tidy they are. Lovely, straight blocks um, yeah so normally we put the trestles up on the inside now and work overhand but because we can fit the trestles down here we're going to get the 11 off here because these these are difficult to do overhand the um, they are different sizes luckily the gauge we're following on the uh, extension is not too bad and the bricks the bricks those original bricks are probably about mil or two mil a bit deeper than these, which gives us oh nice one fits, which gives us a good chance of making it look nice. It's always easy when you've got a bigger bed to work with. So just trying to screw it down. So we're going to get these trestles up. I'm actually going to finish putting a mix on. Profile's going up. I think I might put the profile up there properly. Yeah. Yeah. And. We're just doing half a mix at a time because we learnt our lesson yesterday mm. that it goes a long way. And you leave it for like half an hour, it's already dried up. So yeah. we do it in half at a time. There's the sun now at what? Half eight. So it goes around there, but it just skims the top of the house. So we're building in the, in the, in the shade, but none of this goes into the shade. So um, uh, there's no skip, but uh, Vic's taking the stuff away to a skip at his house, so we're going to take all the rubbish round and put it in, the, I think he's took it, took a ton bag pilot on the front, just so Vic's not taking all the crap round himself. And, yeah, that's the plan. The plan is just to concentrate on the brickwork and see how far we get. Well, we're going to get 11 courses on it and then going home, with it being Saturday. So job and knock on the brickwork.
Yeah. yeah. Here we go. Bricks are on. Dad's just got a coffee, so we'll. I'll get a mix on after break, and we'll uh, get this blitzed. So it is lunch time. Uh, five and a half courses up, which we assume we did all that in one hour. That's not too bad. All the faffing around, jumping down, going back up. Uh, so it's definitely taking shape a bit better. So we will catch you. Right, half one. Half mixed number two going in. Whew. Let's see what hits a hot one. I think today's the, the day before the thunderstorms, which is like we're getting really hot now. Great for sitting doing nothing, not great for working in. So um once that mix is used up on that side, it's a job and knock. So we're just gonna get another five and a half courses on. That's what the first mix used, isn't it? Yeah, halfway through. Yeah, and then that's size squared up now. Once I've got one more course on that, it's all squared up. I'm going to leave that side. It's getting a bit of a stretch on the trestles so and the op ups. Is it just like three or four courses on top of that then? Yeah. Right. So we're going to take those that up another three. One, two, yeah, another three on top of that. And then um, that's it. We'll, we'll take it from there. The doors are going to, aren't going to have any brickwork over the top because they're going to be very high. It's going to have a very high ceiling in it. So the brickwork just wraps around to the doors each side, which is good. No steel and no brickwork over the front. Uh, plenty of bricks left. I'm not into these at all. There's a massive difference in sizes. So yeah, massive difference in sizes. Pretty poor quality. Very thirsty and hard to work with basically maybe on a rough old wall but not on a on a like a an, an extension wall but uh close as we can get so tell us let's shut up and put it
There we go. We think that's the height, but we're not positive. So I'll just use the motor up, put another course on. So if we do need to put another course on, that, that all that just scaffold can be stripped. Pop up, jump up on these four here, get those few on if we need to. If not, we just knock those off. Simple as. Just tidying up now. I think it's getting on for half three. Yeah, half three, bang on. Yeah, well, plus a minute. So I was just getting the tidying up done. Mix is done. Um, doesn't have to be perfect because we're back on Monday. As long as we uh, make it tidy for the customer getting in out with the dog. Uh, I think that's it. Everything's covered up for the for the thunderstorm tomorrow. Al, just need something for the sand, don't we? Mm -hmm. We need something for the sand. Is the tomb bag got anything in it yet? Mm -hmm. The tomb bag got anything in it yet? Yeah. Oh. Okay, scrub that. A bit of, oh, do you know what? It's, it's that dry, it could do with a bit of water. Yeah, um, so that's it. Good match, not the nicest brick to work with, but they're not too bad going down. Obviously, they're not supposed to look perfect, so you can't get them perfect. But quite happy they have turned out, aren't we? In my trial? Uh, down there somewhere. Can you pass me the sweeping brush? Because the, bin, the bin's been splashed, so I'll clean the bin. So. Yeah, that's it. We're going to have tomorrow off. Christine's coming home tonight. She's been in since Tuesday. And, uh, yeah, back on Monday. Monday, we're not doing the steel, we're not doing the brickwork Monday, we're all coming and concentrating on the steels. So that Monday, Tuesday will be the steels. Then Wednesday, we'll be finishing everything off, getting that up there. That'll be scaffolded from this side because the, there's no room for the scaffold, the trestles over there. So the trestle will be going inside, but a bit higher so we can reach over. Because this is obviously, we're going to be doing that height overhand. So we need to come up about a foot so we can look over. So, I think it's just tomorrow that's going to be a bit nasty, that's why it's warmed up because the thunderstorm's approaching. So we'll see you on Monday. <laughs>